Hello all, Jamie Rogers here from Craftmania and today I am bringing you an absolute bargain and I do mean a bargain. We are going to be spending less than we are saving, which is always the way to shop if we can, isn't it? So today we are looking at this beautiful die designed by Sue Wilson. This is the Background Collection Dotty Scalloped Celebration. Now if I bring this in, hopefully you can see the beautiful detail that Sue has designed on this one. It's one of her background dies, so it's a big die. It's 12 and a half centimetres by 12 and a half centimetres, which I think is approximately about five inches by five inches. Now, one of the bits I love about this is that there is no outside die attached around the sides. Now, that's a game changer because that means instead of just having one die that cuts one background in one way, this background can be tile cut, so we can do it on bigger formats if we wish to. We could put it into different dies. So again, nesting dies, frames, bits like that, we can put around it so that we completely change the effect of it. Or it means that we can actually just cut it into the front of our cardstock and leave it there. It will stay in your card like an aperture. And I'll show you this in just a moment. We'll go to the overhead and I can show you a couple of bits I've been doing, talk to you a little bit more about how we can tile cut it and bits like that. But the actual die itself, the recommended retail price, I don't think I promised you we're going to be spending less than we are saving. That's right less than we are saving. So recommended retail price, £16.50p. Your offer price on this die, and we do have limited stocks of this, there isn't an endless pile of them. Your offer price on this die is £7.50. So you're saving £9. Spending £7.50 and saving £9. That's the way to shop, isn't it? We love it when that happens. So you'd want to get this and you want to get it quickly. Now, of course, you can pop online, you can check this out straight away. Website is www.craftmaniacrafts.com. If you pop on there, type in the code, which is CED7119. CED7119. This product will appear and you can check out on just this one if you like to. If you want to, of course, you can go shopping. We carry over 10,000 different items and you can add as many goodies into your basket as you want to. But what we need to know about is postage, don't we? Now, at Craftmania, our postage is really simple. There is nothing to faff with here. If you spend over £5, which of course this die is, you receive completely free PMP. Simple as that. Free PMP. If you live internationally and you'd like to order this die, then of course you can do that too. We send it all over the world. That's not a problem. Uh, our international capping is at £10. So you can't spend any more than £10 to receive your die anywhere in the world. Doesn't matter where it's going or how much it costs us, your PMP is capped at just £10. So £10 for international shipping, free UK PMP anytime you spend over £5, which of course this beautiful big die is. So you want to get hold of it and you want to do it quickly before they go. So jump on the website www.craftmaniacraft.com or give us a call 01493 843 666 and we will do our best to process your order for you as quickly as we can. So just £7.50 should be £16.50. I love that. I'm going to keep going on about it. Love it when we're spending less than we're saving. Love that ratio. So let's show you a couple of ways that we can use this and talk to you about a couple of the cards I've made with it as well. So hopefully give you a little bit of inspiration. So then, as we mentioned with our die, it doesn't have an outside blade attached to it. And that does give us a lot more freedom to get creative with this. So I'm going to bring in a piece of card just hopefully so you can see the bits that we're looking at slightly better. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about them outside edges. So I mentioned before how we could bring in different nesting dies. And this is what I mean by that. Maybe you want a really distant edge to it. Or maybe you'd like quite a close edge to it. Or maybe you'd like a really huge edge to it. It's just down to you what size nesting die you put around it to how that's going to cut out and, and the effect that that's going to create. So maybe like this one here that I've done in coconut white, you'd like that quite chunky frame that you can put foam tape under or foam pads, or maybe you'd like quite a close edge to it. And again, seeing it here with the yellow underneath and the different colours of cuts, again, to me, shows how this can be used all year round for different occasions. I'm seeing quite an easterly vibe through this one here. I like that cream and that yellow coming together. So maybe some nice daffodils on there and a little Easter bunny and bits like that. But then when we look to possibly the black cut, I don't know why, but I could see possibly more masculine cards or some little bees put on the front of it, perhaps building it up in that format. But to me, it's always going to be about the colour. You know, we bring in some red card, for instance, and we put that underneath these straight away. I'm seeing Christmas. 
you know, how Christmassy does that look? Or maybe you might prefer to go for some mirror card and this could work quite nicely again. And we see that on one of the examples, or will do when I show you the cards, how mirror card being cut from or under this will work really nicely. Again, not only mirror cards, things like lime card. This is one of the colours I keep radiating to at the moment. I think that looks really good. Or we could go for one of my trusted favourites and I've possibly saved my favourite to last periwinkle cardstock oh i love periwinkle i certainly love it when we put it with the coconut white and we get that really cool blue and white coloring but again the dark cut also works perfectly with this too so not only are we talking about the frames and the ability to cut out at different widths we're also talking about layering it with different products and different colors and talking of products how about bringing in some vellum and putting vellum underneath this as well. It will soften down colours you put below it and it will give you a really luxurious finish and that might work nicely for you too. So other ways we can cut this and we're just going to tidy these up so we're just looking at one colour. We'll leave the periwinkle on the top because that is my fave. But when we bring in our dye again, and we can talk to you this time about how we can tile cut. And by tile cutting, I mean that we can place this down. Do, 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 there we go. And we can cut out our first panel. We can then take it and we can move it along. And we're going to nest that into just a couple of the apertures, so just so it's got a point, and then cut it again. And that will literally carry on lining up. So your only limitation here is the size of the piece of card that you are working on. I've gone for a sideways cut on this one, but there's no reason why we couldn't come down the panel as well. So if you'd prefer this in a portrait instead of a landscape, that's up to you. And when I talk about limitations with card size, obviously I'm working on an A4 machine to do my cutting. So it does mean that I'm limited in the sort of width of the card, but actually the length of the card because if I can leave the card hanging out of the machine as such, I could take an A1 sheet if I wanted, cut down a strip and then tile cut all the way along that sheet. And we could be looking at really large format pieces like this beautiful fretwork here. And that could be used for making 3D ornaments. You could use it to go across your scrapbook pages all the way from one side to the other. This could be poster boards. It could be for home decoration. There are so many reasons that you might wish to cut this in a larger format and use it in all of them different formats whether it's to construct cards scrapbook pages or as I say home decor but it's a really lovely way to see how you can take that die which would traditionally cut out in this sort of size and actually taking it much larger and as you can see I've only gone slightly further with this but we can literally carry on as I say as large as you would like to so we've had the ability now, haven't we, of putting it into a frame. We've cut it longer than it needs to be or, or as it should be. The other thing I mentioned we can do, and I love this, this is a six by six card blank. And I've literally opened up the card blank. I've put the die on the front there and I've sent it through the machine. And again, because we do not have that attached blade around the sides there it means that that is going to cut in and stay in our card so again maybe we'd like to back that with some color directly underneath it maybe we'd like the insert to have a bit of color so that sort of reveals maybe it's not a card that you want to do at all it could be a box that you want to work on or maybe a candle holder and put one of them little electric candles on the inside of it so it all lights up that could be beautiful there are so many ways and i could ramble for hours about different ways i would use this panel i have a feeling when it launched that i actually made a, an exploding box and used this on the sides of it but i did give that away i can remember um but it, it you know it does lend itself to construction as well as as you can see here, just a six by six card, could be a smaller card. Or another thing that I wanted to talk to you about is actually cutting into the panel as well. So let me just grab a couple of pieces here. So I've done it very similar to what you've seen already. I have gone ahead and I have cut my frame or my panel into a frame. So I've used the outside edge and I have used the actual panel itself in the middle there and cut that through. I then bought in two square dies again from the same set of nesting dies but i've taken the first one and i've sent that through and that's going to cut out a little window for me in the middle here i've then nested these two together because i didn't want that edge there so i've nested these two together and i've sent them through to cut myself a little frame 
and I could then take the frame and place that down. I'd probably put it onto some foam tape, but I can place that over the top there. And it's then suddenly created the perfect window for me to build up a scene inside, put some flowers in, put a little memento in there, um, put it into a scrapbook page and put the photo in the middle there. Or again, home decor, maybe we'll want these as the sides of the boxes. We're going to put some vellum behind that, maybe some details on the front there and that little candle that I was talking about, a little electronic candle behind it. It's all there to play with. It's up to you how you take this. Personally, I'd also quite like to see that aperture cut out with a circle because if we've got the circles in the design, a circle might work quite nicely. But it's up to you how you take it and you play around with it and you build it up. Another thing that I wanted to share with you, and this is just a quick one, and I, you know, I weren't really gonna go into major demos today, but it's something I really love to do and I think it's a proper wow factor. So I've gone ahead and I've taken a self-adhesive sheet and I've already put this onto a piece of card. So I'm just gonna take off the lid of it here. And I've cut it down to a square already and I'm going to bring this in and we're going to place this down on top of that self-adhesive sheet so that now through all of those apertures we have got sticky now you're going to notice I'm doing this with my hand talk about automatic pilot I know because of the amount of detail on here that I'm not actually touching the self-adhesive sheet if I was working on a more open die I would bring back in the piece I've taken off already from the top of the sheet and use this to do my pushing down but as you can see i'm not actually sticking to that panel in any way or format so i don't have to worry about that but it's a good tip for you to have now then you may have seen if you follow me in all different formats that i have a bit of an addiction to periwinkle cardstock how about matching periwinkle glitter oh we love this color I do anyway. So this is our glitter bits in Periwinkle. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to give this little sprinkle over the top here as you can see it's going to come out straight away. And we're then going to use one of our applicator sponges to just burnish over the top here. And that's going to go into all the little gaps and it is going to give us this beautiful glittery background. Now I've got a little bit carried away here of how much I've bought out, but that's not a problem. We can pop it back into the pot. So we'll burnish all the way over here taking this off to one side so we can pop it back into the pot now do you know what I, I thought i'd done all of my cleaning and i thought i'd removed all of my little pieces but i can now see that there's one cheeky little one left in there so let's see if we can get that out because that's going to bug me and i should imagine it'll bug you too so we'll get rid of that one and we'll pop a little bit of glitter in there we're going to get rid of that bit as well because i don't know where i've picked that up from and I'll place that over the top I can clear that off and oh my goodness look how beautiful that is now i know that many of you have fallen in love with periwinkle like i have so i'm going to bring in the periwinkle card for you as well and we'll lay that down on top of there doesn't that look a lovely combo and of course you can get the periwinkle glitter uh this is our periwinkle glitter bits and periwinkle cardstock this is our foundations card actually and i'm not meant to be talking to you about this at all at the moment but you might not have seen this on the craft mania website we now have all of the foundations foundations card I think or as much as we can do in single sheets in 10 packs and in 20 packs and the more you buy obviously the cheaper it gets you have a bit of a save in there but actually if you just want to get one sheet and you want to try out foundations card or maybe you like when I was playing with these earlier you see that you would like a little bit of a rainbow going on between the different colors or you want to get that dye and like I mentioned dress it up for the different seasons of the different colors there's nothing stopping you now from just buying a single sheet of each of the colors and I'm not even going to estimate how many colors there are but there are all different types of card watercolor cards and bits like that mirror cards all single sheets and as I say 10 packs and 20 packs so you might wish to check out the foundations cardstock range for that this would look lovely on the silver as well wouldn't it oh look at that sorry I'm getting carried away back to where we should be so you might wish to check out this die and if you do just to recap just in case um you've just tuned in this one of course is on offer it should be 16 pounds and 50p but it is yours for just seven pound 50. so once again you are saving more than you are spending and you're saving nine pound you're spending 750 if you live within the uk free pmp so you don't even have to worry about your postage costs and if you'd like to order it internationally then you can do that as well international shipping is capped at just 10 pounds now I keep showing you to you a couple of cards on the inside here to end today's video I'm going to set up some photos to appear showing you projects that I've created Sue has created and some of the incredible craft um 
creative expressions design team as well. But if you have any questions, please pop them in the comments and I will do my very best to answer them for you. And please don't dilly dally. If you like the look of this die, get it while we've got it. I don't know how long they're going to be here for. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye for now.